My name is Darren. Welcome to the new episode. Hello, my name is Liam and this is our week in news. A man turns a Boeing 727 airplane into a house in Hillsborough, Oregon. Bruce Campbell is a 64-year-old retired electrical engineer. The plane cost a total of $220,000 and needs to be washed every two years. And this has been Liam with our week in news. Hi, I'm Tyrell, and welcome to our S360 News. Assistant Director of Independent 360 in Whippany, Jason Wetzel, and his wife recently had their first baby. Jason met his wife Megan in middle school. Megan works on the product development line for Marvado watches. Their daughter Madison Elizabeth was born on September 4th. Congratulations to Jason and Megan, and this has been Tyrell for S360 News. Hello, my name is Chris and this is our weekend birthdays. This week's student birthdays are Nick A and Justin B. This week's night birthdays are Mr. Gill and Mr. McDonald. And this has been Chris with our weekend birthdays. Hello, my name is Ryan and this is our weekend entertainment news. Chris Evans on Thursday announced he has officially hung up his shield playing Captain America. After playing Captain America for nearly a decade, Evans tweeted that it was over. The 37-year-old Evans first played Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, in 2011 Captain America the First Adventure. And this has been Ryan with our Week in Entertainment News. Hello, my name is Matt and this is our Week in Movie News. The movie I will be reviewing is Venom. Venom is a 2018 American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics character Venom. The film is produced by Columbia Pictures in association with Marvel. In the plot of the movie, following a scandal, journalist Eddie Brock attempts to revive his career by investigating the Life Foundation, but bonds with an alien that gives superpowers to its host. Venom premiered in Westwood, Los Angeles on October 1st, and is scheduled to be released in the United States on October 5th, 2018. And this has been Matt with our Week in Movie News. Hello, my name is Kira, and this is our Week in Music News. Part of that world, The Little Mermaid, Disney movie, the Little Mermaid came out 1989. Ariel sang this song for Prince Eric because she wished she had legs to walk on dry land, to be with him. And this has been Kira with our week in music news. Hello, my name is Adonis, and this is our week in video game news. The video game I will be reviewing is Beyond Good and Evil 2. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is an upcoming action-adventure video game. Its development was character characterized in the media by Anthony 
until it was officially announced at Ob Ubisoft's E3 2017 conference. The game will have single player and co cooperative player supports even as a single player for the player can participate in a shared universe. And this has been Adonis with our week in video game news. Hi, my name is Tano Wynn and I want to find a sunny, something sunny, something crazy. I'm Tano Wynn and I want to Hello, my name is Alex B, and this is our week in sports. The Ravens 26-14 win Sunday night officially moved past two years of heartbreaking losses at Hens Field and show why this defense is the best in the NFL. In today's game, in which defenses light up in the scoreboard, Baltimore's defense can still roll up its sleeves and play old school football. The Ravens are the first team since 2006. Not to allow a second half touchdown in each of their first four games, according to ESPN stats and information. And this has been Alex B with our Week in Sports. Hello, my name is Tyrell, and this is our Week in Animation. I will be reviewing The Grinch. The Grinch is an upcoming 3D computer animated film. The Grinch created creates a plan to ruin Christmas for the residents of Hughville. The film is scheduled to be released on November 9th, 2018 in select theaters. And this has been Terra of our week in animation.